Hey guys, Paul from ultimatefatbutter.com here. Pre-workout supplements, powders, drinks, whatever you want to call them, are some of the best-selling workout and bodybuilding supplements on the market. But they can come with side effects, and in this video, I'm going to hit you up with eight of them. I'll be right back in just a couple of seconds. Please, please, please don't go anywhere. Hey, you're still here. Awesome. All right, so let's do this. Let's get right down to the eight pre-workout side effects, starting with side effect number one, itching and tingling. Also called parathesia, this is a totally harmless side effect of beta alanine, a common ingredient in most pre-workouts. There's really nothing you can do about this one other than buying a pre-workout that doesn't contain it. Side effect number two, flushed, red, blotchy, and hot burning skin. Many pre-workout powders contain high doses of B vitamins, including niacin or vitamin B3. High doses of niacin can cause reddening of the skin, tingling, burning, or itching, as well as skin that's actually warm to the touch. These symptoms usually disappear after an hour, and most people develop a tolerance of niacin over time. Side effect number three, headaches. Headaches from pre-workouts are most commonly caused by expanding blood vessels in the brain, which of course is caused by elevated levels of nitric oxide in the body. Those increased levels being the reason for ingredients like arginine, citrulline, and agmatine. Headaches are also a symptom of caffeine withdrawal. So if your headaches are kicking in after you've cycled off your pre-workout powder, this is likely the culprit since pre-workouts normally contain a lot of caffeine. Side effect number four, nausea. Nausea is a pretty common side effect of these products, and unfortunately, it's hard to know for sure what to attribute it to. It can be caused by a single ingredient or a combination of any of the ingredients in the formula. If your pre-workout makes you feel nauseous, try cutting the serving size in half and mixing it with more water than directed. Side effect number five, having to go or diarrhea. When I owned a supplement store back from 2006 to 2012, I sold a lot of Gaspari Super Pump. Within a very short time, my clients had nicknamed it Super Dump because within a relatively short time of taking it, they were racing to the toilet. This was likely caused by the high levels of magnesium the product contained. High levels of caffeine, which most pre-workouts contain, can have the same effect. Side effect number six, insomnia. It's not surprising to learn that pre-workout powders can cause insomnia. With some products containing well over 300 milligrams of caffeine per serving, sensitive individuals are likely to find that their ability to sleep soundly or at all is impacted by using a pre-workout powder or drink. Side effect number seven, jitters and anxiety. The high levels of caffeine found in pre-workout supplements can cause a number of different side effects and affect people in different ways. Two common side effects of high levels of caffeine are jitters and anxiety. If your pre-workout makes you feel edgy and anxious, try reducing the serving size or buy a product that contains less caffeine per serving. Side effect number eight, high blood pressure. Yes, the super high levels of caffeine and additional stimulants are the problem once again. They can elevate your blood pressure and as a result are certainly not the ideal supplement for anyone with high blood pressure or any cardiovascular issues for that matter. Okay, before I wrap this up, one small point. I've seen a few people talk about cramping as a side effect of pre-workout powders as a result of the creatine they contain. In my opinion, this is a very unlikely side effect for two reasons. Number one, there's no clinical evidence to show that creatine supplementation actually causes cramping. And number two, even if it did, most pre-workouts do not contain an ideal dose of creatine anyway, only a fraction of the amount needed to show results. So you don't have to worry about this one. All right, guys, there you have it. Eight side effects of pre-workout powders or supplements. If you like this video, a thumbs up or a share would be highly appreciated. If you hated it, by all means, thumb it down. If you have questions or comments or would like to share your own pre-workout side effect experiences, please leave a comment below. Before you go, I have a favor to ask you. Please subscribe to this channel. It's way more fun making videos when someone is going to watch them. Otherwise, I'm just one more guy babbling into a camera in an empty basement. Please don't make me be that guy. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you very soon.